we can go against the grain, basically, of what we thought we were supposed to do growing up. And so for anyone who's listening right now, who's in that space of, you know, I'm doing this right now, but my heart's not in it, you know, or I'm in this relationship, but my heart's not in it. This is all about trusting your internal dialogue, you know, and, uh, trusting your intuition, trusting your connection to your um, to your higher self. And what's so amazing about each and every one of us on the planet right now is that we all have the ability to tune into that energy. Once we recognize what that looks and feels like, and we recognize how innate it is in, inside of ourselves, we begin to give it more power and more credence, and it begins to grow in power as well. So my advice would be listen to the thoughts and the feelings that keep repeating themselves to you, because What's going on is that you're being given guidance by spirit. They're putting the signs in front of you. But if you're not willing to be present with that information, you know, then you'll keep going through life sort of in that sort of fear module. But if you're able to recognize what's being given to you, like these breadcrumbs from heaven, so to speak, then you can make those decisions. You know, you can formulate and trust that you are here to truly co-create your journey of life. And I know for um, many people that don't understand that realm, it may seem kind of taboo to them of like, all right, okay, I can think it and feel it and attract it and that type of thing. But it really is a natural part of who we are. And when we, when we view life in that way and when we play with the magic within ourselves, that's when we decide to make decisions that are right for us um, but may not be right for those around us. And I think that's the hardest part in the beginning is trusting what's right for ourselves. 